and welcome to this very special interview. Joining me today is uh, Mahendra Jaju, who's the Chief Investment Officer, Fixed Income at Mirai Asset, one of India's fastest growing mutual fund houses. Thanks very much, uh, Mahendra, for joining me in these difficult times. So, Mahindra, you know, while a lot is talked about equity, debt funds uh, haven't got their due in terms of, uh, you know, uh, conversations around them and information around them. So many people tend to feel that, uh, you know, a debt fund category is just one scheme or two schemes. Could you take us through the various options that investors have when it comes to investing in debt? What is the time frame in each of these options, if you could take us through that? Currently, in terms of the existing SEBI guidelines, uh, the debt funds are broadly categorized on the basis of the average maturity of the investments they make or in terms of the credit quality of the portfolios that they construct. Now, a typical investor's investment horizon can be divided into three uh, short-term investment horizon where he has money for a few months or a few uh, quarters or the medium term investment horizon where he might have money for two, three years to invest. And then the long term investment horizon where he will typically have money to invest for more than three years, typically three to five or seven years. And then uh, the task of matching these two things come. Uh, we have uh, in the short investment horizon category products like liquid funds, uh, the low duration funds and the ultra short term funds now low and liquid fund invests or can invest only in assets maturing up to 91 days and a low duration fund can have maximum duration of one year so in uh, uh, technical terms the lower the average maturity of the fund the lower is the interest rate volatility of that product so a low duration fund with a maximum duration of one year will typically have a far lower interest rate volatility or NAV volatility than a bond fund which might have a duration of five years. In the medium uh, investment horizon category, we have products like the short term fund where the allowed range for the duration is between one to three years. And then in the longer investment horizon category, we have many products, but broadly let me take uh, uh, three products. One is the uh, dynamic bond fund, the second is the PSU and banking uh, fund, and third is the credit risk fund. These are the three uh, products with the maximum attention or the uh, concentration of the assets. Now, the dynamic bond funds are uh, expected to be pure interest rate play. Uh, they should invest in the highest quality assets like AAA PSU bonds or government bonds, and uh, very few select private sector bonds. And there, the primary risk and the return uh, source uh, is because of the interest rate uh, going up or down. Then you have the credit risk funds, which try to take uh, aggressive credit and hope to make extra return over and above the risk-free return like the government bonds and uh, hope that the investor gets compensated. In between now, uh, one category which has emerged very, very strongly is the PSU and banking uh, funds, where a minimum of 80% is to be invested in the bank or the PSU debt paper. So typically because the banks are either owned or uh, by the government or tightly regulated by the Reserve Bank, they are expected to be reasonably safe quality investments. And the PSU bonds are obviously of the companies owned by the government or where the government has a substantial stake and therefore they are again expected to have the backing of the government of India. So that product has typically high safety component and then uh, because there is no cap on the duration that they can uh, take uh, either side whether on the lower side or higher side uh, they can have a flexible investment strategy. So they also tend to give returns in line with the market condition. And therefore, uh, for the investor, therefore, I think the primary, primary choices are to invest in liquid or the ultra short term or the low duration fund if he has investment horizon of up to one year. Uh, typically in the short term funds or the banking and PSU funds, if they have investment horizon of say between one to three years and uh, into guild funds or the uh, dynamic bond funds or the bond funds if they have an investment horizon of longer than 
three years. Uh, that is how I look at the debt uh, mutual fund universe. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Mahindra Jaju. Thank you very much and wish you all the very best. Uh, you hope you continue to serve Indian investors equally well in the future as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vivek. Thank you so much for inviting and thank you so much once again. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Mahindra. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.